Ariana, the flute. Oh. Back. The gate is giving way. Get to higher ground, everyone. this? Is that? It looks like an entrance of some sort. Professor, how on earth can we get it open? Some puzzles must be met directly. I love the thrill of a good solution. Fascinating. Why is this here? That's not the question. The question is, where does it lead?
Sasha! You brought us here for me, didn't you? I'm sorry. I didn't understand. You wanted to give me this gift. This beautiful gift. I'm sorry. Please, let's just go back to how things were. Please, please don't die. Lucia, please, you've got to get up. Lucia, get up so I can ride on your back again, please. Lucia. You can't die. Lucia, she used her last ounce of strength to bring you to this wonderful place. She sacrificed her own life to be sure that yours would be safe. It's not fair. Did you hear what she said? What? I understood it. Lucia said thank you to you both. Time stands still down here, in this ancient paradise. Lucia must have been born here. I imagine she lost her parents while still young. It must have been lonely being the last of her kind. So she ventured out through the tunnels into the lake where she met Ariana and Tony. She needed friends after her parents died. So did we. It's true. Lucia came to visit us often. We were lonely as well. We only had each other. Our father made a fortune on the backs of the townspeople. And after he died, nobody would come anywhere near us. The two of us were on our own. We were all on our own. But that's not true, Ariana. We were all worried about you. Please, give us another chance. Luke, if you do that for me, I will do the same for you. I used my illness as an excuse to close myself off from the world. I see that now. The people in town didn't push me away. It was my own doing. When you feel better, you'll be able to open yourself up again. The whole town will be waiting for you. I think Lucia knew that somehow. Lucia just... She just wanted you to be happy again. She knew that we all need other people in our lives. Lucia was the last of her kind. Loneliness was all she knew. But she wasn't alone when she was with you. That's why she said thank you. Now it's my turn. Huh? Thank you, Lucia. As Ariana played her flute, I felt a warm breeze against my cheek. Even the trees seemed to honor the moment, and we found ourselves simply awestruck by the beauty of it all. It was a moment we would never forget. In the short time we had known her, Ariana had grown so much, and she could once again open her heart to those who cared for her. It was beautiful. Looks like it's all over, Professor. So who do we alert first? I mean, we discovered the Golden Garden. No, Emmy. 
We must keep this place a secret. What? At least, until Ariana recovers. That's a bit of a shame. Clearly, something like this. This could launch your career. You'll be in all the newspapers. Wouldn't that be great, Professor? <laughs> I suppose so. But don't worry, Emmy. I doubt this will be the last mystery we solve. There are countless puzzles out there in the world, and I will solve as many of them as I can. Someday I will solve that great puzzle meant only for me. Professor? Hmm? Please, sir. Let me go with you. I can learn from you. Please! I could be Professor Legend's apprentice. Well, I...
Luke, are you ready to go? Almost. Just let me say goodbye to my friends. Are you nervous? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be okay. Thank you. I knew you would. You were right. Everyone in town has been so nice to me. It feels so good to be surrounded by friends again. That's great. Will I see you again? Well, I think so. I mean, of course you will. Deal? Uh, uh, oh. mm. A year later, Ariana fully recovered from her illness. The discovery of the Golden Garden was made public thanks to the work of an eminent archaeologist. It became known to all, as did the name of the man who solved its puzzle, Professor Herschel Layton. It appears that I underestimated Leighton. All things happen in good time. Don't worry, Master. Oh, I'm not worried. After all, patience is a virtue. Thank you.